we lift off with the main character being like, I am so super duper good at picking locks. <laughs> when just to be frank with you, and I have other kick ass skills. Um, do you know how to read what katachi means? Katachi in the sh the shape. Hi. So now you're gonna have to remember that this is the kanji for katachi. Last time we saw katachi, um, we didn't make you read it. Um, can you read this sentence right here? <laughs> Uh, katachi wo shite ite. Oh wait, wait. Start at kawa. Kawa ni. Mm, this is uh to be surrounded. Hai, kakumareru. Kakumareru you na katachi wo shite ite. Oh, this is hard. Okay, so at the river the shit um so i'm guessing the subject is the the ben mm, hi. the large ben what does it do it it wraps around the river at the river it wraps in the sh into shape hi. so our subject is not really mentioned in this part of the sentence um, I suppose the subject here should be tasogare. Tasogare guy. Um, and it's saying that um, it is in the katachi. So tasogare, the district of twilight, is in the shape um, from being wrapped around in the river. So, um, so if you are surrounding something with a river, this is the shape of that place this is the shape it's in so it was a weird sentence to do um makes sense in context though um do you know how to read this kanji to borrow hi how do you read it karite perfect karite from karidu um what is the potential negative form of akiru potential negative potential It's not passive. This is a do verb, though. So it's the same formation, Moni? Maybe. What do you think? Ake, ake, akerareru? Right. Akerareru? Correct. Potential and passive form are virtually identical with um, do verbs. So, akerare night. So, theoretically, this could be was not opened, but it is potential form in the form we see it, Akiradu. Will not, cannot open. Um, can you read the sentence for me? It is... Um, maho no ryoku wo kariru to Gaki ana, kagi ana, o akerareru. So ryoku is how this guy right here is read when it's married, like with ma ryoku. Right here oh. though, it is actually on its own. You know how it's read? How this power word is read when it's not married? It's chikara. Hai hai chikara. Maho no chikara o kariru to kagi ana o akerareru. Oh, it has the ability to open the the locks, the keys. In general, you want to start with the first clause of sentences because otherwise they start not making sense. Um, so our first clause marked by to here is karidu because to is the clause marker of when slash if right. So Hi. you can't really work when slash if from the bottom. I'm not sure how you'd work that in English. So it's best to start with that first clause and let that when if work in there. So when you what? When, when, uh, hmm. when, when I borrow the power, the magic power. Hi. 
What happens? I have the potential to open the keys. Yeah, I can open the kagiana. Kagiana is not key. Kagiana is keyhole. So I can open the keyhole. Um, keyhole. I could probably say doa here instead, but um, they use kagiana in the example sentence because the kagiana is where the lock is, right? That's where you stick in your key. Um, the kagiya kakare. Um, kimyo. This is a yo. Um, myo. I mean, not mi yo. Myo. It's small yo. Um, anyway, this is a na adjective that means strange. Kimyo. And this is very common in like the books I read for some reason. Um, anyway, it ends with myo. Do you know what it started with? Ka. Ki. Started with ki. Ki. Kimyo. What did that kimyo. mean? What did kimyo mean? Strange. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Kimyo is strange. I I Uh, this is iron. Yep. So it's um, what is it? Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, okay. So, that's no mo no. Kagi ana no. Kitachi wa. Katachi. Katachi. Katachi wa kimi o da. The shape, it's strange. The shape Hi. of the keyhole of the iron gate is strange. Perfect. This word right here starts with key. What did it end with? It ends with myo. Perfect. So you already know this, I think, which is just sugiru, which means um to go too far, to do too much. Um, I forgot to write that up there. But all you really do is you attach like a noun to it. So like with stem form, you say tabi sugiru. We can also use this with um, adjectives, which I'll be showing in the next slide. But could you do me a favor and read the little example sentence on the bottom here? Hi. So it said, tabe sugita uh, meshi sky wa kimi oda. Perfect. It, it, it means the servant that ate too much, it's a strange, it's strange. It's strange, perfect. So here is an example of sugiru with a na adjective kimyo. All you do is drop the na, so you're left with the noun, right? Because na makes it into an adjective. So it just becomes kimyo sugitu, like uh, kimyo sugita otoko, the boy that is way too strange. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Uh, sono doa no kagi kagi ana no katachi wa kimi o suru suki da. That uh, the shape of the key hole of the door, of that door, is way strange, is too strange. Too strange. Um, do you know what damatte from damaru means? Damaru is to be quiet. Perfect. Um, so can you read this word for me? Is ki ga suru. Perfect. So ki ga suru is a verb that has suru, and then we have ki. So theoretically, it's a random idiom, right? Ki ga suru to have key um, or to be the key does the doing. This is used to mean to feel like. And this is used like a premonition type of thing. Like, I feel like someone's watching me would be kigasuru. Or I feel like that guy's a creep would be kigasuru or anything like that. It's it's not like I feel the object in my hand. That's not kigasuru. That'd be like kanjiru. So right. it is um the sensing feeling is kigasuru it's a, a hypothetical type of thing which is just makes more sense in japanese i think than english i feel like someone's watching where, where did that come from um okay so now you can read the sentence from the book hi sonna ore demo sono mon no kagi ana wa 
形が奇妙すぎて、すぎて。魔法の力を借りな、借りないと開けられない気がしたので、黙っていた。はい。so here, this um, ore demo is connected to the kigashita and the mateita. So this is a thing. The wa here for topic marker is not the subject of the sentence. The subject is ore from ore demo. All right. Uh, so sonna ore demo, such a person as I. Hi. Despite, right? Even such a person as I, uh, ki ga shita no de, to have the feeling, ramatte ita. Meaning, so, be so, quiet? Uh, yeah, so I was quiet because I had a feeling. Ki ga shita no de, ramatte ita. So because I had a feeling, I just kept quiet. Um, The feeling, is the konomono kagiana wa katachi ga kimyo sugite maho no chikaro kari nai to akerare nai. That's what the main character felt. You see, it's like the metaphorical feel. I feel like someone's watched me, or I feel like something will akerare nai. It's used for like hypo, 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 what, what you think is true. Hypothesizes. Um, so right here, you should act as the subject of this embedded clause is kagi ana, right? So our first embedded clause is kono mono kagi ana wa katachi ga kimyo sugite. Well, I guess the subject here is katachi, um, but they're talking about the mon here. What is the first clause telling us? It say that. Um... The keyhole of that door right. is way too strange. It's katachi ga kimyo sugite. And what does Te tell us? Te tell us that there's a connection with the following so, clause. So, so since so, that so. shape is so strange, ma right. yuroku no chikara o karinai to akerare nai. Meaning, without but without the use or the aid of magic, um. Uh, it would not be possible to open. Perfect. Yep. So since I felt that was true, I stayed quiet. This is because our last sentence, if you remember, was the main character being like, I am a kick-ass pickpocket. Right? Because right. whenever Khan tried to open the gate, it did not open. Now the, the main character is like, you know, I am a kick-ass pickpocket, but... You know, that gate looks like maybe you need magic power to open it. So I'm just going to be quiet and not be like, um, do you want me to pick the lock, Nebody? So I'm just going to stay quiet. So I stayed quiet. Um, can you read this word for me? This means to push something and get something. Osu is to push. And atteru is the hit. So if you push it and it hits something, that's oshi atteru, which is a reverb. Atteru. Hi. Hi. What is the stem form of oshi atteru? Oshi atteru. Stem form is oshi atte. Perfect. So looks a little bit like te form, but it's not. It is stem form. Oshi atte. Can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo wa doa ni. To push. It's a lot like pushing, but it's has ateru, which is the hit attached to it. So osu is the push, and ateru is the hit. Together, mm. what does it mean? To press. Yes. To press on the door. Hi. What was pressed on the door? The hand pressed, pressed the on, hand the door. on the door. Hi. And who did that? Thief. The thief Perfect. pressed the hand on the door. Thank you. And tonairu is um specifically used like when you're reciting something, 
like a magical spell. And this is a new verb, tonaidu. Um, can you hear the sentence for me? Nebri wa mado seki o shou ni oshi atte chumon chumon o dai goe dai go dai go o goe o goe de tonaeta. Mani, to, tonaeru is, is, what is it one more time? I forgot. That is to recite a jumon. To recite. So with with, with a loud voice, uh, nobody recite the spell. Um, with, when he press on, when he press on, when he press on the... When he press on the key, when he press the magical stone at the key, right, at the lock, he, at the lock, he recite loudly the spell. Perfect. So if you, this, if they wanted to, it should be, it could say oshiatete because there is a connection between these two lines, but they just didn't. Probably because the previous line had it, and they were like too many times in a row. Get some flavor in there, but there's nothing um, saying you can't have it there. You have it. Um, I guess it might be because these two things are happening at the same time, but um, okay, nice. So just so you know, you have finished another third, so that means you're two thirds through chapter three, and I think we have time for one more one sentence. More. One more. Woo. Um, do you recognize this kanji? How do you read it? Is ao o? Yep, ao blue. How about this one? Uh, it's green, so it's roku. Oh, roku. When is green, red is roku. No. Oh, Six. it's um midori. Midori, hi. Is it like red is green when it's married? I think uh, so. Huh, wonder what word is that. Um, it's can like, you read this word for me? Um, tobi dasu to jump out. Yeah, to jump out at. Perfect. Um, how do you, would you read this word? Uh, oh, oh my. Uh, you write oh, it. We got midori? ao. So midori. Ao midori, green, blue, blue, green, something like that. Yeah. What do you, what color would you say is like a bluish green? Um, like a t like a turquoise. Turquoise. Probably. Any kind of bluish green would work. We just got blue and green, so bluish green. Okay. Um, what is the top form of tobidasu? Top form, tobidasta. Hi, tobidasta. Perfect. You're right. Um, that midori can be read as ryoku, like in rokuchi, which means green land. Um, hey. Anyway, let's go read the sentence. Aoi midori no hikari wa Madoseki kara tobidashita. So from from out of the magical stone, a green blue light jumped out or Perfect. appeared in a way. Jumps out, appears. Or dash out. Hi. So hataku is a word we've seen before. Do you kind of remember what hataku means? I thought it meant vomit. Ah, vomit does sound like hataku, but I don't know if it is hataku. It has a different kanji. So it's not hataku, but does sound like vomit. What is vomit? Nah. It's probably haku, right? Probably just... something like Yeah, it's haku. This is vomit. Haku. 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 No ta in there. Haku. Haku. Oh, hataku. That's the spit out. Um. Anyway, hataku is the word that we saw when the main when nobody paid off someone's money to to pay off a debt because hataku means like to dust off to sweep away and it has the same kanji as tataku, tataku, which means to hit. 
in the next word, we're going to see a compound word with hataku in it. And it's going to mean to hit. To sweep, but it does have the sweep away meaning in it. Because it's being combined with otosu. Hataki otosu is um, kind of like when your cat is on the table and it smacks your glass off the table, right? Taki otosu means something is smacked and then it falls. So you sweep uh, so it away and it falls. Hataku by itself can simply mean to hit, right, Moni? You, it would mean to slap. Slap, to strike. Yeah, so you need to be doing that left slash right um, movement for hataku. Ta, ta ku could be, it's, it's more up and down, I'd say. <laughs> it's like the, like you tataku a drum, kind of. Uh, well, you wouldn't hataku a drum unless the drum was sideways somehow. But yeah, hataku and tataku both mean hitting, but it's a different direction of hitting, right? Slapping, you know, is sideways. <laughs> And say, so, say, so that's the idea here is you're slapping something and it falls, slap it off the table, right? Hataku um, to slap, and then tataku is to hit. Hi. And they both use the same kanji. Yes. Hi. Okay, so what does hataki otosu mean? Ha, ha, hataki otosu. It's to slap it on. To the floor like slap yes. it falling perfect and what is the ta form of this word ta form is um ataki o to -shita. perfect and can you read the sentence for me uh tobi dashita hikari ga ishi o hataki ochitoshita otoshita Otoshita. You're thinking about ochiru, but um, ochiru, the chi, I'm oh, sorry, ochiru, the chi is after the o. So that kanji right here is only pronounced as o. O, otoshita. Otosuru, otoshita. So the light that dashes out hits the stone and slap it falling. Yeah, sends it falling. Perfect, perfect. Do you know what a ya is? Ya is an arrow. Yeah, it's an arrow. And you have to know that kanji now. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Um, let's go read the sentence. Ya no yo ni, like an arrow. Tobi dashita hikari wa aoi ao midori da. A light dashes out like an arrow is, is blue green. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this word? Uh, neck and then body part. That's a good guess. It's actually neck and then line. N neck and line. So it's like the nape of the neck. It's it kubi, is a nape. Could be something. Hi. The bottom part right here is pronounced as su -ji. su -ji. So su -ji is a line. Um, it's not really drawing a line, but it's a line in any other aspect. That you see, Hi. a suji. Kubi suji. Um, can you read this word for me? Hito suji. This is like in a, one line. In a single one line. line. Hi. And here's our last line of the day. Let's go read it. To, ao midori iro no hikari ga yagi no yo ni. Is it ya or yagi, Moni? I forgot. It's just ya. Ya. Ya no yo ni kagi ana kara hito suchi tobidaste neburi no te kara madoseki o hata ki otoshita. So, and then the light that has the color green blue, um, like, a, like that of an arrow, it's it um hitosuji is is in one line, right, Mani? In one right. yep. So only it, one arrow was sent out. In one line it dashes, it, it tobi dashta, it came out right. from 
the keyhole. Um, and then Nebuti no te kara from the hand of Nebuti. Um, uh, Madosekyo, it, 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 it hits the magical stone and, and send it falling. Hataki, it hits and then it's otosta, it send it falling. So we have two different katas here, um, and they're marking different locations. Does the magic come from Nebuti's hand? No, the uh, I, I it came from the keyhole. Yes. But the light came from the keyhole. So what came from Nebuti's hand? The Madoseki. Perfect. Yep. So in other words, the light slapped the magical stone out of Nebuti's hand. So whatever reason we'd use the word out here, I would say more out from Nebuti's hand. Right. Uh, perfect. And that is where we're going to stop it here. So nobody had a little accident with his magic. 